In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your footage from looking like this into something more like this. Hope you're gonna enjoy and let's get straight into it. Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Vince and today I'm going to show you how you can make your footage look cinematic fast in Premiere Pro 2022. This is going to be a very practical uh, video for all of those who want to kind of like put uh, cinematic looking sequences into your YouTube videos or vlogs, whatever it might be, but you don't want to spend hours and hours on tweaking the, the different little color grading settings and everything. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is create a new sequence. And uh, basically what's very important here is to set the proper uh, resolution for the cinematic kind of aspect ratio. Now you can also use what are called kind of like cinematic bar PNG files. And uh, I use them a lot as well if, uh, the, if I don't want the whole project to be in the cinematic aspect ratio. But if you want to do it, quote unquote professionally, then this is what you need to do. So you go to settings and then you want to set the um, editing mode to custom and set it to 24 frames per second. That is kind of like the cinematic standard um, frames per second. And then you want to set the resolution to 248 by 864. So this is the kind of um, cinematic um, aspect ratio for full HD footage. Now I'm also going to leave the other resolutions uh, for this cinematic aspect ratio in the description below. So if you want to edit in 4K, for example, uh, there will be the exact numbers that you need to put in there to get this widescreen cinematic aspect ratio. So you want to make sure that the pixel aspect ratio is set to square pixels and uh, then we can get started editing. Obviously, as the next step, you want to import all the footage that you want to edit in your cinematic edit and then uh, just drag and drop that into your library. And then after that, you also want to add in your music of choice that you want to use for your clip. Now, music is actually super crucial when it comes to creating a good cinematic video because it is the main thing that sets the mood for the whole video, right? If you choose an incorrect uh, song for a, otherwise a good cinematic video, then it's just not going to look professional and feel professional. On the other hand, if you choose a really good song that really fits the mood that you are trying to create with your footage, then it's going to make your video 10 times better. So you might be wondering where you should be getting your music from for YouTube, uh, because you obviously don't want to run into copyright issues and getting your videos taken down that you worked so many hours on. Now I have been using Epidemic Sound for almost five years at this point, which is pretty crazy. I have used them in plenty of my own personal YouTube videos and on client videos as well. And the good thing about them is that you basically pay a monthly subscription fee instead of having to license all individual songs for, you know, potentially even thousands of dollars. And they have really affordable rates for licensing monthly uh, music for your YouTube videos. And the cool thing is once um, you have your subscription, all the videos that you use, the songs that they provide, are not going to get flagged even if you cancel your subscription in the future. Now they actually offer a free 30 day plan for anybody who signs up in the link in the description below. And the cool thing about that is it basically gives you a month to try it out and see if you like it personally. And even if you don't end up uh, paying for the plan afterwards, your videos that you have created in this time period are still not going to get flagged uh, even if you don't end up getting the plan. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to love the service and I've been using using it for a while as well. So I highly recommend checking them out in the description box below. Uh, they have a ton of different songs that you can choose from. I think it's over like 30,000 uh, individual tracks and over 90,000 sound effects. So you can also get your sound effects from them, which can also add a lot to all your cinematic videos and vlogs. They add new fresh tracks every single week. And one of my favorite features about Epidemic Sounds is that if you find a song that you really like the mood of or the BPM of uh, or like the genre, of they actually have a find similar button next to the track and it's going to recommend you songs based on that song that you liked and I found plenty of uh, musics and songs for my videos that I really like through this feature so that's one thing I love about them and also they offer uh, stem downloads for a lot of their songs which means that you can get the different kind of layers of the songs separately so if you have a song for example that you really like the vocals of uh, but you are not really digging the drums 
then you can just remove the drums from that and it allows for a lot of creative freedom. So if you're interested in getting your music from Epidemic Sounds for all your social media projects and even client projects, then check them out in the description below. So once you have set the correct sequence settings for your project and you have also imported your clips into your library and you have chosen a song that really fits the mood that you are going for, the next step is to right click on all your different clips that you are trying to use in your video. You want to right click and then go to modify. You want to go to interpret footage and you want to say assume this frame rate and then you want to put in there 24. So basically this is just going to make all your um, higher frame rate clips, let's say if it's a 60 frames per second clip, it's going to make it into a slow motion. So it's going to fit very smoothly on your uh, timeline. And slow motion is actually something I recommend using quite a bit when it comes to making cinematic edit because it makes just everything look very smooth and very kind of epic cinematic vibe. Start importing your videos into your actual timeline. So you can just go and drag and drop them onto your timeline. And as you can see, it might not actually fit the um, sizing of your cinematic aspect ratio. So if that's the case, what you want to do is go to scale on that clip and you want to scale it up a bit just so it fits uh, the aspect ratio perfectly. So once you have done that, what I like to do is select all my clips and then click on unlink. So this way I can just easily delete the audio from all of these because I don't really like to use the clips from the audio for my cinematic edits. I usually just add in sound effects afterwards then you can uh, really start cutting it down to only the best parts of your footage. So once you have done that as well, uh, you want to import your music and start editing the clips to the music. So it kind of fits that. Uh, and then after that, the next step that you want to take is to add a new adjustment layer. So create a new adjustment layer right here. And then after that, um, you want to put that over all the clips um, that you want to have your color grading effect, which is what we are going to do next. And then I like to switch to the coloring tab after this and go to the metric color. And then I like to use lots whenever I'm trying to create a quick cinematic sequence. So you can either choose from the ones that they already have, or um, you can download some lots from the internet. So lots are basically lookup tables and uh, think of it this way. They are kind of like Instagram filters for videos. So if you don't want to go into the uh, color grading part and you don't want to do all the super detailed color grading yourself for all the different clips, you can actually just choose one of these lots and it's going to apply the same kind of look for all your footage. So I'm going to choose one of my favorite lots. And as you can see, it already changed uh, the look of my footage pretty drastically. If I um, enable and this disable my adjustment layer, you can see the difference uh, that it made. Now, a lot of the time when you just apply a lot to your footage, it's going to look way too strong. So what you can do is go to your adjustment layer and then change the opacity of that uh, to change the strength of your lot as well. Uh, and as you can see, this looks pretty solid to me now. So if you want to kind of use the same positioning of a certain clip, on other clips as well, what you can do is go here to motion and then press command C and or control C if you are using a Windows uh, uh, PC. And then after that, you want to uh, highlight the certain clip you want to apply these changes to and then just press command V. And as you can see, it uh, scaled it up to the same uh, size. So the next thing you want to do after this to make your edit just a bit more special is to add some sound effects to it. So I'm going to show you how you can find some cool sound effects in Epidemic Sounds as an example. So you want to go to sound effects and then you want to search up whatever sound effect you are looking for. So for example, in this case, I'm going to try to look for something like ocean uh, sounds and uh, let's see what they have. So these ocean waves uh, sound pretty perfect for this edit that I'm going for. So I am going to download it. And then uh, once it's downloaded, I'm going to drag and drop it on my timeline. And as you can see, I can now easily add uh, this in the background and you want to make your sound effects probably a bit uh, more quiet so it doesn't come off uh, too strong but let's just put it at minus 20 decibels for example and then you want to do this for multiple things like you want to put in maybe some birds chirping or some car sounds all of these can add a lot of extra punch to your video now if you want to do some extra stuff to your footage uh, and make it look like really really exciting uh, make sure just to not overdo this but then you can add some film overlays to your footage. And I think this looks really nice as well. And uh, yeah, you can just search up 
film overlay on YouTube and you will find a bunch of uh, different ones that have um, all sort of different patterns and, and uh, things going on. So I found this one, for example, and then you want to change your blending mode um, to a different one. Maybe you want to use screen. And as you can see um, now, it have kind of allowed this to reveal the footage under it as well. And uh, you can change the opacity of um, this clip as well if it's looking a bit too strong. So I'm going to pull it down a bit so the overlay is not too harsh. And as you can see, this looks uh, pretty cool in my opinion. And maybe you can just add this to some transitions between two clips. And uh, it, for example, this one gave it kind of this retro vibe. Uh, so for this, I would use it for maybe like a transition between two clips, something like this. And then also you can play around with the different speed of your clip. So if you want to make uh, one footage, for example, sped up, let's say you have a drone shot uh, and you want to speed that up a bit then you can just right click on that certain video, uh, go to speed slash duration and you can set the speed here. So if you put it on 200% speed, obviously it's going to be 2x. Uh, if you put it on 500%, it's going to be 5x the normal speed and you can even slow down your clip here. So. These are the main things that I usually use when I'm just trying to create a simple cinematic edit without having to spend too much time on it. So to sum everything up, basically you import your footage, you set it to the right frame rate, you create a sequence with the right settings for the certain cinematic project, or you just use um, cinematic black bar overlay. I'm going to link one in the description so you can download that as well for your project. And then you want to select the right music that fits the mood of your clips and uh, it's going to make your editing again just like an, a higher level uh, and then after that you want to uh, select the best parts from your clips you want to change the speed of them uh, make sure that they all fit whatever you're looking for and then you want to add an adjustment layer to it or you can also just change the color grading on the clips individually if you're trying to be a bit more of a perfectionist and then uh, you may add a lot to it to change the color of the whole um, you know image like pretty instantly and then you can add some sound effects to it you can add some overlays to it and uh, if you combine all these different things together you're going to get something like this <laughs> So I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it valuable overall. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out Epidemic Sound in the description below uh, to get a free 30 day trial if you want to check it out for yourself and use their sound effects and uh, songs as well. If you are looking to get Premiere Pro, I will also link that in the description below. Really appreciate you watching this and I will see you in the next one.